but there's something really interesting I want to share with you in this video, guys, which I think is really breaking news because so far, I don't think anybody in the Apes community had knowledge of that. In 2004, okay, there's a letter that popped from uh, a fellow guy who posted this on LinkedIn. Ken Griffins from Citadel states that payment for order flow should be banned. This is a letter from 2004, you know, and back then, the SEC were looking for comments around how they can do to improve efficiency and competition in the markets specifically to the listed options markets if you don't know the option markets is really the the biggest chunk of in terms of volume when it comes to uh, um, the u.s markets and the u.s exchange all across the world now these are the comments from citadel itself all right the practice of payment for order flow creates serious conflicts of interest and should be banned Internalization without meaningful price improvement reduces competition, it limits price discovery, and it leads to market fragmentation and should be banned. Finally, the commission should not yet require the listed options markets to quote in decimal because decimalization will overload systems already pushed to the limits and lead to less transparent and shallow markets. And the conclusion. Citadel Group welcomes the issuance of the release and commissions other efforts to consider and open for discussion fundamental issues relating to market structure and regulation. The commission willingness to focus on these difficult issues and ask the hard questions works to ensure that US markets remain the strongest and the most efficient in the world. BS. This is 2004. Let me pause here for a second. This is 2004. And keep in mind, these are the comments Citadel is giving to the SEC, all right? Now, 2004 and fast forward now to 2000, I don't know, because the, the, the payment for order flow thing has not started into 2021. It's been around. And if you remember, I shared with you a couple of days ago that um, 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 the founder of Inorade Broker said that payment for order flow have been going around for 200 years. And he doesn't think that it's going to be that easy to make that disappear. Well, he may be one of the, 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 the pioneers of this, uh, 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 I mean, online trading, so he may have a big way to this. Now, when you go to what happened when the whole GameStop situation started and Citadel and Robin Hood went before Congress to testify, back then it was February of 2021. Citadel, the same Ken Griffin, you know, the same company, 2004, saying, no, you shouldn't implement this because it is against the market transparency it is against what we need for the markets to be as efficient as they possibly can they are now saying we are defending a practice known as payment for order flow why why do we think there is such a shift in this practice being adopted and now to the point that they are defending the dollar bill okay the dollar bill money for the brokerages working with companies like citadel and virtue okay but also and more importantly, money for the big guys at the foot of the chain, like Citadel and Virtue, because again, they are the one profiting deeply. So this will never, ever make the market as efficient as they, 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 they are supposed to, because the big fishes like Citadel will always be winning. They will always have another another advance they will always be ahead of the retail traders because first of all they have our order so they can look the volume they can look exactly on what we are buying what we're selling and it's not even speaking about the whole conflict of interest between our brokerage and those market makers but the the, the huge risk it presents to the whole market as a whole now the thing is since then okay with banks hobbled by no regulation after the financial crisis, Citadel Securities became a major force in the trading. That's not a denial. But the GameStop episode that revealed the firm's huge role in the US listed markets has attracted the attention of politicians and regulators. If you don't trust me, now go back to what um, um, SEC Chair Gensler said on CNBC and was even removed from the actual video published on their a YouTube channel. I think it's the same. So this is Gary Gensler speaking. I think it's the same 
has been for decades. It's trying to foster good debate and dialogue, just like on this program here on CNBC about investing and the reset engagement is positive, but also to guard against fraud and manipulation. And whether that's from big actors, big hedge funds in the markets or not, and also to promote transparency. We are taking a real close look at market structure. And I recently started engaging on Twitter to some blah, 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 blah. This was cut out from the actual live interview on CNBC. And when people reached out to know exactly what happened, this is a response from CNBC. Hi there. Thank you for getting back to us. We are unable to provide an answer to your question at this time, but we thank you for your feedback, which gets reviewed by CNBC product leaders. For your reference, the full transcript of the interview is also available through this link. Hope you had a great day. Pretty much rejecting blank, like nothing really happened. So I believe maybe I'm being naive, but I really believe in my gut that the SEC is really looking into this closely and it's just a matter of time to really see things popping because these have been something they took as a mission. But the very fact that Citadel changed his mind from back then to now and it's really about money and the fact that they are using this advanced with technology available to them to shortcut and cut out from whatever laws and regulations are there in the markets and taking advantage to make so much money on the back of the retailers is definitely criminal. So more to come on this, but um, you can see exactly where we need to stand firm on this thing. It's even bigger than what we think.